Welcome back to my Ansible tutorial series. Um, in this video, we're going to talk about registering your own variables so that you have more variables than just the ones that Ansible provides you with and the debug module. So, um, Ansible provides you a way to take the output of a task um, and register it as a variable. So, Ansible returns a object for every task that can be registered as a variable. It lets you do this using the register keyword, and then you give the variable a name. So index, h, uh, let's call it index file. So now whatever this task returns, some object of metadata or, or information, um, is now stored in this variable. And if you want to access it, you can access it just like any other variable. Um, in this example, we'll output it to the screen using the debug module. So we're going to create a new task. We'll call it output index file var contents. And then we're going to use the debug module. And the debug module takes a message parameter. And that's just the contents of what you want to output. So we're going to expand the index file variable. Now if we run this, ansible playbook install.yaml, we'll see it'll go through each of the steps. And the last step is that debug module. Um, you'll see that it outputs some information about the task. So it says, it didn't change. Here's the checksum of the file. Here's the destination. Here's a diff. Um, and then some information about permissions. Um, you might be able to see why this could be useful. Let's say you're running a playbook where you need to create a file, but in the next task or some later task, you need to know what its checksum is. Um, so that maybe you have to put it in a file or it's part of a configuration. Um, you can do that with this. So for example, if we wanted to access just the checksum uh, variable in the index file object, we would do index file dot and then checksum. And now if we run this again, you'll see that the debug module will only output the checksum. And here it is. Um, cool, so that is what registering a variable is, why you might want to do it, and how you can use the debug module to output um, useful information. Thanks, join me next time.